Now, there ought to be a Justice Department investigation, but it ought to be focused on Prosecutor Corey in this case. She really violated civil rights in this case. What she did is she filed a false affidavit in front of the judge in order to get a second-degree murder charge. She failed to tell the judge that there were photographs and failed to show the photographs that demonstrated that Zimmerman's nose had been broken, that he had uh, uh, wounds in the back of his head. She misled the judge into giving her an overcharged second-degree murder charge against Zimmerman. That is a true violation of civil rights. And uh, the rest of the case is relatively routine. There was reasonable doubt written all over this case. To this day, nobody knows who who struck the first blow. And that's already reasonable doubt. You, nobody knows who yelled out, help me. Uh, nobody can be absolutely sure who was on top and who was on bottom, but the evidence overwhelmingly suggests that Trayvon Martin was on top and was banging the head of Zimmerman against concrete, thereby risking his life or certainly risking permanent injury. That doesn't sound like a civil rights violation. That sounds like a classic case of self-defense. And Alan, the idea, you have said that you thought the prosecutor ought to be disbarred. That, that's Sorry. a pretty serious type of uh, uh, a violation to get a person disbarred. It is that serious to you. Right, it, it is. Uh, she um, submitted an affidavit that was, if not perjurious, completely misleading. Uh, she violated all kinds of rules of the profession, and her conduct bordered on criminal conduct. She, by the way, has a horrible reputation in Florida. Uh, she's known for overcharging. She's known for being highly uh, political. And in this case, of course she overcharged. And halfway through the trial, she realized she wasn't going to get a second-degree murder uh, verdict, so she asked for a compromise verdict for manslaughter. And then she went even further and said that she was going to charge him with child abuse and felony murder. Uh, that was such a stretch that it goes beyond anything professionally responsible. She was among the most irresponsible prosecutors I've seen in 50 years of litigating cases. And believe me, I've seen good prosecutors, bad prosecutors, but rarely have I seen one as bad as uh, uh, this prosecutor, Corey.